advanced inventory, when you go turn it on, we're going to go into the edit menu and we're going to go to preferences. And then we're going to click on items and inventory. And then we're going to click on company preferences. And then we're going to click on this little button here called advanced inventory settings. Now, everything else you see around here, um, enhanced inventory receiving, automatic cost price updates, uh, disallow negative quantities in stock. That's all standard QuickBooks features. You don't need advanced inventory for that, but the advanced inventory is gonna be inside this little button here. So once I click on that, notice I have four tabs, multiple inventory locations, serial and lot numbers, uh, FIFO and barcodes, okay? So we'll start with FIFO and then we'll turn that on. There's only literally one option. It's either on or off. So I'm gonna go ahead and check FIFO. And it tells me, starting when would you like to uh, start your FIFO valuation? So let's just hit cancel here for a second before I turn that on and hit cancel. And then I'm going to go here into reports. I'm going to click on inventory. I'm going to click on inventory valuation summary. And then I'm going to just show you real quick. My current asset value is 103,314.82. That's as of today. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit Preferences and click on Items and Inventory, Company Preferences, and Advanced Inventory Settings, going to FIFO, and go ahead and use FIFO starting. I'm going to roll this back to the beginning of the year and hit OK, and then I'll hit OK. And then QuickBooks is going to sort of reset and redo some calculations here. So I'm going to go into Reports inventory inventory valuation summary and then i'll scroll all the way all the way down okay and for the time being my inventory valuation hasn't changed okay uh, but i'm going to show you exactly how this works okay so i'm going to go ahead and create a new item so from now forward i'm going to create a new item so i'm going to go into item list and i'll create a new item and we'll call this FIFO test and make this $10, sales price 20. I'll select an account here, revenue, and then I'll click OK. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and receive two of those items. So I'm gonna go to vendor, enter bill, and I'm gonna go ahead and backtrack this to the beginning of the month. And then I'll, create, I'll do a test vendor here. And I'm gonna hit item and do my FIFO test. And then I'm gonna go ahead and receive 100 of these for $10 each, okay? That would be $1,000. So I'm gonna hit save, okay? And then I'll go ahead and go click on save and new. And then on the 10th, so I'm doing basically a 10, 10 day gap in between. I'm gonna go ahead and receive 100 more, this time, for $20 each, and then I'll hit save and close, okay? So I'll go back to my inventory evaluation report, and then our FIFO test, I have 200 units, I have 200 units at $15 calculated average, okay? So that's my current calculated average um, is $15, right? So with FIFO valuation, the way it will work is when I go sell these units, uh, depending on how many units I, I sell, they may be at the $10 uh, rate or they may be at the $20 rate. So I'll show you. I'm going to go ahead and create a new invoice. So I'm going to go to Customers, Create Invoice, and I'll date this today. And I'll pick Five for Test, and I'll go ahead and pick any one of these items here. And I'm going to go ahead and sell 50 of them. And I'll go ahead and sell them for 25. And then I'm going to click on save. Okay. Now, I had a total of 200 at $75 average each. Okay. When I go into my inventory valuation summary, my average cost it now has changed, right? Because this average cost is now being, being used uh, is being calculated from the $150 that are on hand, okay? My inventory valuation 
in here is still going to be totaled or averaged anyway. However, for the purposes of each individual invoice, each individual invoice, the profit of the invoice itself is going to be driven in FIFO. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let me go into my, I'm going to go ahead and go into back into my invoice. And I'm going to go ahead and go to reports and click transaction journal. And this is going to show me uh, sort of uh, the guts right behind it. My, you know, what I'm selling it for, what my cost is. So notice that my cost, okay, where's my cost of goods sold? My cost in this case is 500, okay? 500, that's $50 a unit, okay? Because the way FIFO works, I bought, let's just go, go back and check, go to the item this here, and then I'll right click on FIFO test and click on quick report, and this will be very clear here. See, when I bought them, let me go ahead and enable the sales price. Okay, that would be very clear. So when I bought these uh, 100 uh, for $10 uh, a, a pop, okay, they're, when I go sell the first 50 and go back into that report, into that report for QuickBooks, they're going to be at $50. Sorry, they're going to be at $10 a pop. Since I sold 50, this is going to be 500. Okay, so that's how FIFO works. If I didn't have FIFO enabled, if I had average cost enabled, so I'm going to show you exactly how that functions. Well, in this case, uh, in this case, let's see what the, the invoice date is, uh, is 12.15, correct? So if I had average cost enabled, this 50, this 50, 500 would not be the cost. It would be a different dollar amount. It would be the average of the two. So let me go into preferences. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go ahead and disable FIFO and hit OK and OK. And then I'm going to pull up all the same reports again, just to kind of show you. So I'm going to go into my customers and I'll go into which customer was it that I just invoiced. I could just do it here to the item list. I'm going to right click on FIFO test, go to a quick report, go to my invoice and then look at the same report. And now my cost is no longer going to be $10 a pop. It's now going to be the average of the two. So that's what I'm, what I want to show you. So go to transaction journal and there it is. So you can tell right there is $750 the cost because it's now using uh, $15 average cost instead of using the, the $10, the $10 FIFO cost. Right, so that's kind of a big deal. Um, from from an inventory, let me just show you that again. From an inventory valuation perspective, um, it's not really going to change it because my total valuation is going to be the same. But my individual invoices that are posting to cost of goods sold and are posting the average cost are also going to be affected uh, based on this average cost versus FIFO method. Okay, so that's uh, FIFO in a nutshell.